Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. Happy November 2nd. Is this going to be a recap? Also, check out Peyton McCullough's uh, recap on this game as well, but a recap on the Edmonton Oilers. 5-2 to two loss. Peyton on the radio is where you can check his out. Or 5-2 to two win, I should say, um, where you can check his recap out on the game. Where the Penguins controlled this game in the possession and in the push up the ice facet in the first two periods, but after one, Guess who led the Oilers? And after three, guess who led the Oilers? And that's all that matters. And that snapped a 19-game point streak that they had against the Edmonton Oilers for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So that's nice um, to be able to snap that as, as Oilers fans. Get that monkey off your back as Oilers fans to be able to snap that point streak. And it was also a very nice job. Because like I said, the Penguins did play a better push game, a better possession style, a better overall game. They just sucked in transition getting back on defense. And that's exactly the cards the Oilers want to play you into. They want to be able to play the transition game so Zach Hyman, so Connor McDavid can dominate you. And oddly enough, this game, Evan Bouchard dominates you on a beautiful 2-1-1 pass from none other than Mick Jesus, who has the four-point game. And we thought would even have more because we thought that Zach Hyman had a hat trick as well when he was crashing the net on the one play, but it turns off by a smidge. It was offside, so the hats were thrown onto the ice, and then the wonderfully great Zach Hyman throws some hats back to fans after the game because of that. <clears throat> um, but it was nice to see Dave Tibbet recognize in the third period Cassian wasn't really having it this game, and then he moved Kyle Yamamoto up, and what happened? Barry shoots one. Yamamoto deflects it, worked out well, that stuff doesn't always work out, but made him look like a genius in that instance, and then um, Pujarvi did go out with an injury in this game, and then so did Marino after getting hit by a shot, so hopefully both of those guys are alright, uh, Hyman obviously kept up his great season with two goals, wasn't able to get the hat trick, McDavid had to end up taking the empty net goal in the end as well, because it's just... Zach Hyman was marked. There's no way he could have got it to him, and he looked pissed off, honestly, which just shows how great of a captain, how great of a leader, and how great of a teammate Connor McDavid is on top of being the elite of the elite in the league. But he was really pissed off after scoring a goal because you could tell he really wanted to get Hyman that hat trick. And he said that in the post game. But also, um, when it comes to the Oilers and Pens, the Edmonton defense in this game bent but did not break um, in the first two against the Pens. That's a good success thing for the future. I still think they obviously have a lot to build, a lot to grow on, but aforementioned Evan Bouchard, who scored on the great two-on-one, is developing into a very nice defenseman that can play, obviously crash and tear score on both ends, but also play a good steady, get it off your stick, move it up the ice, defensive game. And he's developing into nicely and developing into, if it's not Chris Russell, congratulations to him for breaking the record, getting over 2,000 blocks. But it ain't him. He's been the Oilers' best defenseman all season because, yes, Tyson Berry has done nice things on offense, but Tyson Berry can't really play defense and makes a lot of mistakes in the defensive zone. But so I would say Evan Bouchard, great success story so far for the Edmonton Oilers. And then obviously Chris Russell just keeps doing his thing and was good today as well. Really good back there today as well as Chris Russell, but the pitch goals were by Gensel on a one-timer, and then Teddy Bluger was able to pot one as well, which is the game, the goal that evened up the game in the second, before Edmonton just ran a rough shot with Pittsburgh uh, in the offensive zone in the third period, Miko Koskinen had a great game again, the stars of this game are obviously Miko Koskinen as the third, Connor Mc eh, no, Zach Hyman as the second, Connor McDavid as the first because he had the four-point game. And those would be the stars of this game. In a great tilt that, yes, the shots, 34-22. Pittsburgh outshot them, played a pretty good game, overall pushed the possession pace. But guess what? Who cares? Because in the end, they did not play a good enough game, and they fell flat on their faces and got trounced by the Edmonton Oilers in the third period and by Connor McDavid and by Zach Hyman and also by Evan Bouchard, who played a good, solid game, I thought, on the defensive end, yet again, being one of the best defensemen as well as Chris Russell, two best defensive guy, played a good all-around game. Chris Russell, just the defensive guy. Two guys playing as the best overall defenseman, I would say, are those two cats. And they played well again. The overall Mitchell played well again. And Miko Koskinen continuing to have the best start of the season. I have the crow on 
him because I never thought he would be the most successful steady Eddie starter. Well, right now he's looking like he might be able to do that and obviously not give Mike Smith his job back when he comes back. Well, peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Oilers' great 5-2 win over the Pittsburgh Penguins, led by Mick Jesus, Zach Hyman, and another great game by Miko Koskinen. Peace out, everybody.